We want to pray for you today. But first, to further build your faith, I want to share with you a story of Marion from Murfreesboro, North Carolina. She had knee trouble accompanying terrible pain for 30 years, which also included gout and alarming growths. Even after surgeries, the growths and overall gunk were present. One day as Marion watched this program, she heard both Gordon and me pray, describing her knee being completely restored. When she went for her next MRI, it showed her knee was completely cleaned out. Yay. Only God. Yay, God. <laughs> Amen. Here's Naomi of Hinesville, Georgia. She walked with a cane, hunched over. She was only 63, but was diagnosed with degenerative disc and psoriatic arthritis. Well, back on April 19th, 2019, just a few days ago, Naomi watched the 700 Club, heard Terry pray. There's someone else that needs the same creative miracle. It's your lower back, the very bottom of your spine that connects to your tailbone. You've got vertebra that are missing the padding in between. It's so painful you for you. God is healing that for you today, right now, in a creative way. Just receive it and be made whole. Well, Naomi be believed and now is no longer in pain does not need her cane, and stands completely straight. Yay, Yay God. God. Yay, God. <laughs> Nothing is impossible with God. Let that story you just watched encourage you. Nothing is impossible for God. With men, things are impossible. But with God, nothing is impossible. So let's reach out and touch his infinite possibility. We can do that. We have the grace to do that to go boldly to the throne of grace and receive the answer to our prayer. Now, we're going to agree, believing. You join with us. And the Bible says, when two or more agree, touching anything, it shall be done for them by my Father in heaven. So let's just believe God and let's agree. And you reach out and touch so lay a hand on that area of the body that needs healing. We'll agree with you. You do the touching. We'll do the agreeing, and God will do the rest. Let's pray. Lord, we just reach out with, with faith to you, and we ask that you would reach out and touch those who need healing today. The eyes of the Lord go to and fro over the whole earth to show himself strong to those whose hearts are loyal to you. And so, Lord, as we lay hands, we're showing you we're loyal to you. We believe in your unfailing love. We believe for the impossible because with you all things are possible. So stretch forth your hand to do miracles, to do wonders, to restore, to heal, to make new again. And we ask it now. In Jesus' name. Uh, there's someone, your name is Agnes, and you've got trouble with your right jaw. Just open your mouth wide and realize you have been completely healed. You just felt a touch go through that joint and all the way back up into your ear, and God has just completely restored it, completely made it new. And, and there's several people. You've got uh, deteriorating bone in your jaw, and your teeth are getting loose, and God is able to heal and restore and all of that is being taken away. And now, in Jesus' name, be healed and be made whole. Terry? You know, there's someone you're watching and listening right now and praying with us, and you are very filled with fear because you've been experiencing so much mental confusion, and you're very afraid of what that means. God is restoring all of your ability to think with clarity and you're not going to have any of this anymore. No more jumbled thinking. No more not remembering why or where you are. You haven't told anybody about this. But from this day forth, you'll not have it again in Jesus' name. Um, I think there are many right now who are suffering with torment as a result of sexual abuse from your childhood. And it's like the memory just torments you. And, and, and you get back into a helpless state and, and, and you're... You just need deliverance from it now. In Jesus' name, be delivered from the torment now. Be delivered from the fear. Be delivered from the shame. In Jesus' name, be set free from this 
and be renewed in your innermost being in every part of your body, soul, spirit, heart, and mind. Be renewed by the power of God. Be set free from this to live a life of joy and, and happiness, looking forward to your future, knowing your future is with him. Be set free from this in Jesus' name. There's someone else. You have a strange condition. I don't know if there's a name for this or not, but your, your saliva glands don't work anymore, so your mouth is constantly dry. It's changed your ability to eat certain foods, to swallow it. Just everything is affected by it. God's restoring that to you right now. You're just going to feel your mouth become moist again. You're going to be able to eat. You're going to be able to speak clearly. All of that discomfort is gone in Jesus' name. Someone, you have a ruptured uh, blood vessel in your right eye. And um, it, it's just being healed. It's being taken away, and your eyes are going to be clear uh, from this point forward. Everything is going to be normal. Your vision's normal. Everything's normal. Everything's healed, been, been restored now in Jesus' name. All that pain, all discomfort, leave you now in the name of Jesus. Nodules in the throat, gone in Jesus' name. Lord, we just thank you. We thank you that you are the healer, you are the deliverer. You came to cleanse us. You came to set us free. You came to heal us. And most importantly, you came to save us. Thank you for all that you do. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If you have been touched by God, share your good report. We're here for you. And realize God wants to heal. God wants to set free. God wants to deliver. God wants to save. And he's only a prayer away. All you have to do is reach out and touch. Jesus said it so clearly. The kingdom of God is at hand. That means it's right here. The time is fulfilled. That means it's right now. Change your thinking and believe the good news. We can believe it now that he died for us. He set us free. So if you need prayer, call us. 1-800-700-7000. And just tell us what you need, and it's our honor, our privilege to pray for you.